dropping in to say hello. I'm Mariko. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 131. You now have more options to style the structure of details and summary elements in order to build a disclosure or accordion widgets. The change introduced in this release enable the use of the display property and add a details content pseudo element to style the part that expands and collapses. Historically, it was impossible to change the display type of the details element. This restructure has now been relaxed, allowing you to use things like grid or flex layouts. In this exclusive accordion example, made of several details elements, when one of the details element is expanded, its content is placed next to the summary. This is achieved by using a flex layout on the details element. You can also try more layout patterns with other display values, such as grid. Support for page margin boxes when printing a web document or exporting it as PDF has been added. Page margin boxes let you define the contents in the margin area of a page. So you can provide custom headers and footers rather than using the built-in headers and footers generated by the browser. The page margin is defined using the at page rule in CSS. The appearance and the contents of the margin box are specified in the CSS properties inside the at rules representing the 16 margin boxes using generated content. For page numbering, counters are also supported with page for current page number and pages for the total number of pages. And of course, there is plenty more. Support for external SVG resources for clip pass, fill, stroke, and marker properties has been added. With HID is enabled inside dedicated worker context, allowing developers to perform heavy I.O. and processing of data from a HID device on a separate thread. You can now control the behavior of emoji with the font variant emoji CSS property. And there are a few deprecations and removals that may impact some developers. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked in the description or in the release notes. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, the CSS podcast, and more. I'm Mariko, and as soon as Chrome 132 is released, we'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.